Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today we have Norman Harris here because it's Flat Top Friday, and this is one of his favorite guitars, um, and also becoming one of mine, but he always talks about this 12 string, so uh, he's going to show us some specs and walk us through it. So, uh, like, my favorite 12 strings on earth are made by a guy named Don Musser. He's out of New Mexico, and he's just, in my opinion, one of the greatest players. I've sold some of his guitars, six strings, to Eddie Van Halen and Tom Petty and Bob Dylan and Eric Idle and Roger Hodgson from Supertramp and numerous other people. He only makes about 10 to 12 guitars a year at the very most, sometimes way less. And he's a rare woods dealer, so he gets some of the most beautiful woods ever. But his 12 strings, the thing about 12 strings is that most 12 strings, when you play them between the first and fifth fret or sixth fret, they're in tune. Once you start getting a little higher up on the neck, most of the time in the studio, if you want the guitar to play in tune, you've got to retune for the higher register and then the lower. These guitars are just phenomenal guitars. He does like a compensated nut and a compensated saddle. And uh, he just compensates for the intonation. And it's just one of the best playing 12 strings and really recording is. 12 strings you could ever get. And our buddy Carlos Guitarlo said, why don't you feature one of those Musser 12 strings? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do it for Carlos Guitarlos. We usually don't like to humor him too much, but he's getting older, so we'll do it. All right, we'll do it for him. All right, so All right, for let's Carlos. check it out. So check this out. This one is, these are both Brazilian rosewood. And what's, you know, it's got beautiful mother of pearl, uh, but he does not use plastic binding. So all this binding surrounding it is wood, maple bound. This one has almost kind of an Egyptian kind of uh, inlay. It almost looks like a pharaoh's head or something up on the top. But the fingerboard is ebony. And if you notice on the bridge here, this is compensated. Wow. And then if you notice on the nut up here, this is compensated. And the reason for that is so it would play in tune up and down the neck. 12 strings can be a recording nightmare. This is exactly the reason why these guitars are so great, not to mention that they sound fabulous. It is Brazilian Rosewood. He is a, a dealer of woods, so he keeps a lot of his old growth, uh, really fantastic woods for his own guitars. And uh, again, it's all wood bound. There's no plastic or anything. This is flame maple or sometimes you use koa or something on binding. But let me show you something else that he does that's really cool. Um, he also puts a letter in with every one of his guitars and describes what wood he used with the guitar. Um, just, uh, I won't read the whole thing, but a Gibson 12 string advanced jumbo was originally built for Norm's Air guitars. The back and sides are uh, pre cites Brazilian rosewood. Top is Colorado Engelman spruce and was cut from a log I personally selected and processed. The neck is Honduras mahogany and the fingerboard is ebony, the bridge and peghead veneers are ocelot ear. And it just goes on, but it's really cool that he does this and he kind of really itemizes all of his materials. And if you're really kind of a, you know, a nut for, you know, hearing all the stuff that he, he's just extremely anal about getting this stuff right. And it's really cool to know what is uh, consisting in making these guitars. I'll show you another one that we have. Sure, so we have two good. of these uh, currently in stock. Um, uh, we had, uh, we had a couple others. We had one where Richie Sambora played two chords on it and said, this is mine. And, uh, you know, this one, the headstock inlay is slightly different. This one's got like a bird up on the headstock. Again, mother of pearl all the way up, ebony fingerboard, but the same type of compensated nut and bridge saddle. See. And again, it's Brazilian rosewood. Wow. wow. And the book matched, and it's really cool. And once again, the letter stating all the woods that he used. So Michael's going to play one of these today, and uh, you know they're really cool. All I can say is, if you have a recording studio, you want 
the best recording 12 string you can get. I think these are great. They're not outrageously expensive and they're Brazilian rosewood. Um, they're just exceptional guitars and in a lot of ways the very most any mass produced 12 string that you'll ever hear. I know there's a few other guys making some beautiful 12s. I give 100% endorsement to the Don Musser 12. So Michael's going to take it out there, check it out and Let's give it a it. listen. Let's go. Thank you, Nora. Gorgeous. Let's check it out. All right, we're out front with the Don Musser 12 string, a beautiful guitar. Um, yeah, check it out. We'll start off with a few chords. Here we go. Uh, this one's called Stratosphere, one of my favorite 12 string pieces I've written, and uh, <laughs> I sound like a jerk. <laughs> All right, here we go.
Pretty nice guitar here, Norm. No. Oh, it's still on, but part two, changing the tuning. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more song by the Beatles. <laughs> Cool, there you have it, your guitar of the day. Uh, a very beautiful Don Monster 12 string. Here at Norman's Red Guitars, I'm your host, Michael Lemma. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a cool Strider day. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>